Hey there, Capricorn. Welcome to your reading for um, November 2023. We're just going to jump right in here. Uh, you have this change in the wind card and this peace card. Uh, every single person has had, you know, some sort of change. We're in between eclipses or actually, well, you know, if you're watching this in November, then obviously we're after the eclipses. But <laughs> if you're watching this in October uh, before the next eclipse, then we're in between eclipses. So, you know, that can definitely bring in a lot of change. And you don't have to make, um, you know, these changes in between the eclipses. They It could come, you know, six months after. So, you know, again, you're clearly making, look at this, damn. You have this great fortune card, 10 of pentacles, eight of pentacles, king of pentacles, uh, nine of cups. This looks really, really good for you, Capricorn. Um, but anyway, as I was saying, you know, these changes can take a little bit of time, although I don't think they will. Uh, judging by these cards, it looks to me like you are kind of like working with the energy, making things happen. So, you know, I feel like there's a lot of success uh, coming in for you as always. Uh, as always, I feel like you're going to have to, you know, be a Capricorn and put the work in. But, you know, I, I like to see where things are going. Uh, I would also be careful of like worrying here. I don't know. I have the word like worrying popping into my head. Like if you're worrying too much about like, you know, the future or, you know, where things are going or whatever, I feel like that you're just going to, you know, give yourself unnecessary worry. So I would be careful of that. But, you know, again, uh, clearly there is a big change that you are making. Uh, whatever this is, is kind of like, you know, been what, you know, your readings have been talking about this for a while. And, you know, clearly it's leading to success. Ten of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. Uh, I really love readings that have the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups together. Uh, to me, that's just like the icing on the cake. You know, it, it is just that one step further that it, uh, to make it like really nice. <laughs> so this this reading is a really nice cake, right? Is what it is. Uh, you have the Hermit, the King of Pentacles, and sorry, I'm just just messing up cards here. Hermit, King of Pentacles, Nine of Cups. The Hermit, I feel, is like saying, it's time to stop holding back. Um, that's really what is popping into my head here. Like, I feel like you're maybe holding back on uh, presenting things to the world or putting sharing your ideas with the world. Or uh, maybe you're afraid to speak up at work or what you know whatever the case may be. And I feel it's time to reveal something here with the hermit. You know he has a star in his lantern, and I always say he needs to you know shine that star all over the place. He he really needs to blast that star everywhere. And that's kind of like what I feel like you need to do here. Uh, you have the King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles is having some skills. He has these grapes on his cloak here, and grapes in the tarot. Sorry, I just missed something up here. Um, but anyway, uh, grapes in the tarot represent having a specific skill that is very difficult to grow, you know, very difficult to do. Grapes, they require very specific conditions. They require a lot of attention and care to grow well. And so the grapes on the King of Pentacles say that he kind of like has spe specific talents, gifts, skills, and abilities that can create this right here, Ten of Pentacles. So, you know, I feel for a lot of you, this is saying like you, it is time for you to use your skills, whatever you've been doing or learning. I feel like it's going to lead to a lot of abundance and success. Uh, this right here is also pretty obvious to me as far as I'm concerned. Eight of Pentacles to the Knight of Cups. This to me would kind of represent uh, matching energy. Like if you want something, anything at all, doesn't matter what it is, <laughs> could be love, could be business, whatever. The Nine of Cups just says you just have to be in the energy of what you want before you can have it. So uh, I would practice, you know, matching the energy of things that you want in your life and so that you can attract them faster. With the Hermit, you have the Hermit. So definitely could be a Virgo coming in for you if you want love. Could be an earth sign in general here. Um, you have the Hermit, King uh, King of Pentacles, which is Taurus. You have the Devil, which is Capricorn. Uh, could be a water sign as well with that uh, Knight of Cups, but really could be any uh, um, you know any sign with the Knight of Cups because to me, Knight of Cups can just be someone who sweeps you off your feet, who takes your breath away, right? Uh, with the King of Cups, you have the Nine of Cups. So again, wish fulfillment, good things coming in for you. Basically, the universe saying I meant what I said. So I feel like you have to sit in the energy of the things that you want. And I would, I would, you know, practice that. I would practice just being, you know, if you want love, just be in love, just feel the feelings, right? Uh, if you want money, just feel the feelings of having money. And I know it sounds ridiculous, but I don't know, change my life doing that, you know, doing this practice. I don't know if it's magical or what, you know, I, as I always say, I don't think people have to believe in the law of attraction just to think more positively, right? And whether it works or it doesn't, because of the law of attraction shouldn't really matter. It, it's like, if you're thinking more positively, you're being more positive, right? That's all, you know, that's all that matters. With the nine of cups, you have the two of cups. Yep, uh, definitely attracting a perfect match. I feel like some of you, are, not all of you, of course, but I feel some of you are very worried about love. Like, 
you know, am I gonna have, am I gonna find a person? Um, and more importantly, you know, are you going to find a person that you actually wanna be with is kind of the concern that I see here. And I feel the answer is quite simply, yes. I feel you are attracting like a perfect match here with the two of cups. There you go. Uh, next in the area of the unexpected, I don't really feel anything unexpected, just so you know. I label these rows, but I read intuitively, and if I don't feel it, I don't feel it. There you go. Uh, you have this great fortune card and this high honor card. So clearly, <laughs> you know, 10 of pentacles, 10 of cups, clearly there is great fortune coming in for you. With this high honor card and also with the hermit showing up twice, I would say that this great fortune would probably be coming from you sharing something with the world, um, and, you know, again, so this could be you starting a business and telling everyone about it. It could be you starting a YouTube channel, but it could also be you speaking up at in work or business um, and telling your boss you want a raise, right? Or doing things to stand out, to get a raise. And so all those things I would be doing. I do feel that some of you could just be getting a raise here. Um, the high honor card could be you receiving some sort of honor, great fortune, obviously could be an increase in your finances due to getting a raise or promotion something along those lines. Uh, you have the Ten of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Seven of Cups. The Ten of Pentacles is a card of major success. You know, Ten of Pentacles is pretty much everything you want and desire in your life. And um, this is, if I were in our sign, and I pretty much am, <laughs> pretty much, uh, you know, every single planet, its mother and all its cousins are in Capricorn in my chart. So uh, what I would say is I basically am, and this is all I focus on is, you know, um, trying to build and leave a legacy, trying to do something that's bigger than me. And that's that's what I would do if I were you, uh, is I would work on things that are bigger than you. And um, these could be personal projects, but it could be things like having a family as well. Or, you know, there's this happy home, happy family here, which you also have in the Ten of Cups. Um, but again, like I said, I would try to build something uh, long-term, like a long-term project, something that fulfills you, but also fulfills the world, of course. Uh, we have Pluto going into Aquarius. I think that some people get Pluto in going into Aquarius, you know, officially next year, at the end of next year, like basically one year from November, right? Um, and what I would say is I think some people get it wrong because they say like it's all about the collective. And while I think we should be doing things that benefit the collective, um, really I think Pluto and Aquarius is more about being a living example and also not telling people how to live <laughs> as well. We're gonna see a lot of it, which is like the negative side, right? Is uh, we're gonna see a lot of people that are like, you have to live this way, right? And instead, I think everybody should ignore everybody else. And I think everybody should just say, um, should just prove it basically, right? When, it, when you, are just living your best life, there's nothing that you have to prove. Everybody can see it, right? If it's truly the best way to live. So, you know, I just tell people just like, keep living your life and do it the best freaking way possible. That's your only job with Pluto and Aquarius. And if you do that, you will be very successful. You will experience abundance, but you have to do it, right? Uh, next, you have the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, I, I don't know why you're worried about money. For some reason, I'm hearing like, I'm worried about money is popping into my head here with the Eight of Pentacles. But, uh, you know, again, I feel like there could be a lot of abundance coming in for you. <coughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. It's kind of funny because, um, you know, in the readings for the last week of October, I think, or, or I can't remember what week it was. It might have been for the 23rd, I think, that, that week, if that's the last week, I don't know. I can't do math, so it doesn't matter. But what I would say is that week, I was really surprised at how much, like, just cards of abundance and success came up for pretty much everyone. I just wasn't expecting it. So I don't know, it could, it could actually be a much better time of abundance than we think. And so I would keep working on whatever you're working on. You have the seven of cups. Uh, seven of cups, of course, is about being spoiled for choice. I kind of do feel that for you, Capricorn. We go up to the devil, which is actually you, to the six of cups. <coughs> I kind of feel that as far as love is concerned, that, that you have a lot more options than you realize. So I kind of feel you have a lot of options here. Uh, with the 10 of Pentacles, you have the Wheel of Fortune. Obviously your fortunes, you have that great fortune card. Obviously your fortune's turning in your favor. Um, one thing I will say, it's funny, in your next row, you have this restlessness card and there's a wheel on it. I'll show you in just a minute. And it came up in reverse. Obviously I don't read reversals just in general. I read intuitively, but also um, I definitely, if I did, I definitely wouldn't read reversals and Oracle cards, um, but it is kind of standing out to me. It is popping into my head uh, that it's coming up in reverse. That restlessness card is about taking your restlessness and putting it into something. Like, don't just be restless, you know, put it into a project, put it into starting a business or a YouTube channel or go do a puzzle. I don't care what you do, I would do something with it, but it's coming in reverse. And just intuitively, it kind of said to me, like you are, like I feel like you are 
you know, taking some excess energy you have and putting it into something. And I kind of feel that is what's bringing in the great fortune with the, you know, all these amazingly fortunate cards. So if you're not doing it, I would. With the Eight of Pentacles, I told you, I like I, you have the Eight of Swords here. I got the word like I'm worrying or like I'm worried or something like that with the Eight of Pentacles. So Eight of Swords is like feeling stuck, feeling like you're only ever going to be at one level, right? And feeling like you're not going to break out of that level financially. Uh, but I feel like we're in a time of breakouts, right? I feel like we're in a time of wild surprises as well. Um, you know, it's kind of funny. Like, I, I just feel just like things that we'll see in the world over the next 20 years is like every, like, I think people will see a lot of people like worrying about a lot of stuff, like going one direction, but then like all of a sudden it's just going to switch, right? And um, so I don't know what the universe is trying to tell us, maybe to chill out, <laughs> <laughs> maybe to not like worry about every little thing that's going on, right? And, you know, that's what I would say here. So um, the Eight of Swords is also saying that if you are trying to improve your finances, the Eight of Swords represents only seeing one way of doing things when there are many ways to do things. So it kind of just says diversify. We are in a time of diversification, innovation, and flexibility and trying new things. I beg people to do it. People always say to me, you always repeat yourself and just say, do something new. I'm like, well, then why Why is your ass still, still sitting on your couch like it has been for the last week? Why aren't you doing something new, right? I don't like. I don't repeat myself because I enjoy it. Um, I it repeat myself because literally it's like the most successful thing that you can do. It's like the only thing that we have to do is innovate, you know, over the next 20 years. Uh, yes, this is an oversimplification, but this is Chris's crappy astrology here. You didn't come here for the good stuff. You came here for Chris's crappy astrology. There you go. With the seven of cups, you have the three of cups. Three of cups is a card of a celebration. You know, I will say, I think you have a lot of options in love. Like I, I kind of feel that some of you could all of a sudden be, um, you know, have like a lot of people who are interested in you, but I kind of feel there's like one person who's going to stand out. And I feel, I, I really do feel that's your person. Um, I'm not picking up on any sign. Like, I feel like it could be anything. And the funny thing is, I feel like you'll just know. Like, I feel like you will just be like, oh, this is my person. <laughs> just that simple. And it does feel like a reunion to me, but I kind of feel it's more of that like past life recognition that's going on here. I don't think it's a uh, past person. Uh, next, you have this manipulation card and this restlessness card. This manipulation card is about working with the energy and manipulating the energy. So it's a good card. It's not like a bad card. And <clears throat> so what I would say here is that anything you can do to uh, match the energy of what you want will clearly lead to some good stuff. Uh, I would also be channeling my energy as well with that restlessness card. If you're feeling restless, I would just do something with it, you know? I think that uh, on top of guilt, restlessness is, you know, I'd say guilt is like the most destructive energy that exists. And I would say under that is restlessness. So, you know, if you are feeling restless, I would do something about it. You have the Nine of Cups. I feel like someone's making an offer here, I kind of feel this is a take it or leave it person as well. And I feel like that's what you're noticing. It's kind of weird. It's like this person is popping into my head as like not cocky or anything like that. But I kind of feel like they're, they don't, I think the thing that might stand out to you is that they don't try to do anything to impress you or anything like that. It's like, you get what you get <laughs> with this person, but it's not fake. Like a lot of people nowadays, I feel like they fake it. You know, they, they act like they're not interested. Maybe they play texting games where they don't text you for like hours on end or, you know, whatever. It's like they're trying to seem like they're not available. You know, does that make sense? I don't know what I'm trying to say here, but whatever. Um, what I would say is I feel like this person, like if they don't text you back, I think they're legitimately busy, but I, I also feel like there's no, it's like, maybe you can sense that it's not try hard. You know, it's just, um, very, it's like literally who they are, or maybe they are legitimately busy, right? Um, they're not like just, um, you know, uh, on their mama's couch watching, you know, uh, car cartoons or something like that when they don't have a job. So, you know, I feel like this person is like legitimately busy. Um, or, but I don't even think it's that. I think they just have like a, like a take it or leave it type stance that you you can sense. Like it's it's coming from a genuine place, and they they don't try to force things to happen. So uh, probably that's probably the best type of person that we could all be with. Honestly, <laughs> is someone who is like not trying to force things, right? If, like I think this person is like, well, if it's not right, it's not right. You know, just very matter of fact energy. I'm getting there, uh, but definitely could be love. Uh, you show up here. Um, and it could be a Virgo, by the way. Again, you have Virgo. It could be an Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, or Leo as well with the Wheel of Fortune. Uh, but you show up here. I kind of just feel this is you showing up in a strong position. You know, whenever you show up as yourself, it puts you in a position of power and strength. Uh, you have the Ten of Cups here. And Ten of Cups, of course, is a card of fortune after difficulty. Uh, it kind of represents good things happening after a challenging period of time. 
Uh, also, I think Ten of Cups is really important right now because uh, they are standing in the real world, these people on the card, and they have those Ten Cups above them. And it kind of says that they don't really care what's going on in the world. Uh, they, they are in control of their own happiness. So they, they don't allow you know, things to control them. Um, they control their feelings and they choose, they do things to bring more happiness into their life, which is what I preach, right? I think we should do as much as we possibly can to bring as much love and happiness into the world so that it doesn't go the other direction. So, you know, that's what I would do here uh, is focus on happiness, focus on joy, focus on fulfillment and, you know, doing anything you can to, again, be a living example. With the Knight of Cups, you have the Nine of Wands, <clears throat> you know, this is like the Wounded Warrior. I would open up a little bit here if you want love. Obviously, if you don't, then completely different story. Uh, with the um, Devil, you have the uh, Star. Yeah, this is really good. I kind of feel like you're getting a lot of attention. Like I said, I said that earlier that with that Seven of Cups, I don't even think I talked. I think I completely skipped over the Seven of Cups. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I did. But what I would say here is I really feel like I kind of talked about it because I just feel the only thing that it's talking about is that you're all of a sudden like getting a bunch of options <clears throat> and this could be in love um you know it could be in business or you know with you know whatever but i kind of feel there's a lot of attention and you know with the hermit the hermit has a star in his lantern and i always say he has to shine that star out all over the place and everybody's been getting that now i think there's a lot going on energetically that is making us feel closed down but really we need to expand again I, i've said it a billion times you know over the past two years that really i think what people are feeling is empty space there's a bunch of empty energetic space that needs to be filled with our good ideas before it gets filled with bad ideas right so don't be afraid to share your ideas don't be afraid to start that youtube channel or whatever with the ten of cups you have the nine of pentacles a lot of pentacles showing up here nine of pentacles is the card of gratitude and luxuries and so i feel like there are going to be a lot of things coming in for you that you're going to be grateful for and the, you know just a lot of feelings of gratitude is kind of what i'm getting here off the nine of pentacles i love it uh next in the area of the good stuff doesn't matter what comes up here it's going to be good no matter what you have this rescuer it says someone in your life may help you get back on track uh, it says don't be afraid to ask for help if you need it just don't give up yes i do feel there's a, even the six of cups can be a card of getting assistance we'll talk about that in a minute you have this card that says don't give up because something didn't work out right away didn't we talk about this in your last reading i think in that reading for the week of october 23rd or whatever it was um that we talked about how you could be like kind of revisiting something like you know an idea you had a business you worked on in the past or maybe you uh, tried to do something in the past it's like you're doing it again i kind of get that feeling here and maybe you're just doing it the right way or someone could be helping you uh, to be successful uh, you have the six of cups the knight of swords and the hangman the six of cups of course is a card of that could represent love um you know i kind of do feel there could just be a soulmate coming in for you if you want love uh, obviously if you don't then to me you have the wheel of fortune as well and the six of cups can represent a turnaround it basically represents obstacles being removed from your life so it can say that things are improving or things are turning around for you and you're just kind of like moving in new directions and i do feel that here uh, you have the knight of swords knight of swords is about rushing forward towards success and so, uh, you know, especially in the good stuff, normally I, I just feel like it's a card of rushing, but I feel like you are rushing towards success. Even on the table, It he is rushing towards the uh, star and the devil, which is like you getting a lot of attention. <coughs> and so I feel there's like either a ton of attention coming in for you or there is success. Uh, you have the hangman here. Um, we are in a time of gaining new perspectives. I encourage everyone to just gain new perspectives. If, if you're doing anything, it, it doesn't matter what you're doing, uh, then, then um, you know, I would just say like, are there other ways that you can do things that will make them successful? If you have a business, it's like, are, are there different ways where you could change the perception, you know, of the business, you know, just in general, right? Are there things that you can do to uh, make people perceive your offers as more valuable or whatever, you know, whatever. Those are the things I'd be focusing on here. Uh, are there ways that you can do that for yourself, right? And again, that's something I'd be focusing on. I don't know, I just have, I don't really have like, um, you know, perspective. I have like the word perception popping into my head with hangman. With the Seven of Cups, you have the Seven of Pentacles. Or, sorry, the Six of Cups, you have the Seven of Pentacles. Uh, but what I was going to say is you have two sevens. Uh, two sevens is internal fears that don't exist. Seven of Pentacles says, is the juice worth the squeeze? And, you know, again, I feel in this situation, if there's a person coming in for you, it is definitely worth it coming up in the good stuff. 
with the uh, Knight of Swords, you have the King of Cups. Could be a water sign for some of you. Uh, but again, uh, the, funny enough, the King of Cups is pretty much what I described on the Knight of Cups. So that could be the type of person entering into your life. Uh, with the Hangman, you have the Knight of Cups. Yes, there you go. So definitely could be a Knight in Shining Armor. Again, if you don't want love, I would say that the Knight of Cups is about working towards a dream. And so he is normally like looking into that cup and you have the star and the star is about working towards a North Star, working towards something um, that, you know, you could work on endlessly. And look, you start with this target card that says a goal oriented person. I encourage pretty much everyone to have some sort of um, star energy in their life, which is having one thing to aim at, like a target right here and just working towards it or making sure that everything you do moves in that direction. You know, um, again, for me, just to give you an example, my uh, kind of like goal is to help everyone make their own dent in the universe, right? And so everything I do, every business I have, everything I work on is just goes in that direction. I don't have to think about it. You know, if I think about doing something, you know, f uh, for my Chris Rec channel or for dent makers or whatever, I always ask myself, is this actually helping people make their dent? And if the answer is no, I don't do it, plain and simple. And so I feel like it simplifies things. I don't know, my life has become a lot easier since I've just had a single focus. And, you know, there you go. Uh, you have this tiger, it says, doing something risky, taking a chance. Um, I say it all the time. We're in a time of taking risks. If you're not taking risks, I feel like you're crazy. <laughs> so I would be taking risks. We're talking about calculated risk here, like the risk of, uh, you know, it, you know, with Pluto on Aquarius, the biggest risk we can take is the risk of exposure, like the risk of saying something and people calling you names or the risk of starting a YouTube channel and people calling you names or whatever. So, you know, that's that's what we're talking about there. You have this fly, it says a period of ill health and depression. Again, I would just take care of yourself. I'm not a doctor, but I don't really feel that too much. You have this dog, it says, oh, we didn't even talk about this. This card says protection from a powerful friend. And again, you have that card that says people want to help you. So, you know, I feel that there are a lot of people <coughs> in your life who want to help you be successful. You have this dark man card. It says dealings with relationships with a man with dark complexion or hair. You have this flowers card. It says happiness on it. So again, it could be a darker person that you're attracting into your life. Gender doesn't matter, whatever gender you're attracted to. And so it could be love. And this could also be the person that's helping you. You know, they could be bringing happiness into your life because you're focusing on the right things or you're like focusing in the right direction, right? But this looks really amazing. I love where this is going. So thank you for being here and definitely enjoy your week.